In this video, I'm going to go over a few examples of how to use a for loop to search for something in a string. Now, this first example you should already be familiar with. I have a sentence, that Sam I am, that Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Perhaps you recognize this from green eggs and ham. Yeah, and I have a letter A and I have another variable count zero. Well, I'm probably going to use this to count something. Then here is my for loop. This should be nothing new. My for loop begins at zero, right? Because the first position in my sentence is zero and it goes to less than the length of the sentence. Remember, if the length of something is five, let's say, that means the indexes are zero through four. So that's why I'm going less than the length. And then of course, I'm incrementing X each time after I iterate through my loop. And now I'm just checking, hey, if sentence.substring x to x plus one, this remember gets us one letter at a time, the letter starting at position x up to, but not including the letter at x plus one. Yeah, it's one letter at a time as I go through my loop. If that equals the letter that I'm looking for, which is a, I'm going to increment count. Count plus plus is just a shortcut way of saying count equals count plus one. It adds one to count. Now, if I run it, well, I already ran it. You can see it says six. Well, there are six A's in this sentence. Now I know there's actually more than that, but some of them are uppercase, right? It's case sensitive. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's actually nine A's, but three of them are uppercase. So yeah, that's why it says six. So let's deal with the uppercase issue first, shall we? I made a couple of small changes to the program. I added the dot to lowercase after sentence dot substring. So what this does is it'll lowercase each letter, right? So when I compare it to the letter, which I'm looking for, which is A, it should count nine, right? It should count the uppercase because I'm lowercasing them. But just to be clear, I'm, I'm not actually changing the value of sentence in each way. I'm just temporarily lowercasing each letter as I get it one in the time one at a time. And you can see that because at the end, now I'm printing out sentence, whatever the sentence is. And then this is of course a new paragraph, letter, whatever the letter I'm looking for, and however many times it's found. So I'm going to run this. Yeah. And you can see the sentences that Sam I am, that Sam I am, I do not like that Sam I am, and letter A is in fact found nine times. So lower casing it. Yeah, that in fact worked. All right, let's do a couple more examples. In this next example, I want to look for two letters at a time. In other words, I want to count in this example, I want to count how many times am is in the sentence. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, if I'm counting correctly, right? I'm looking for am. And again, I'm doing my sentence dot substring and I'm lower casing it. I'm looking for the letter. Perhaps I shouldn't call it letter anymore because it's more than one letter. I'm going to change it to letters. I'll change all my, and hopefully, and I, I think you know if you double click, it highlights all the places. So I think I got them all. And if I run this, it says letter. Well, I guess it should say letters. I can add the S there too. I can write again. Oops, letters found zero times. Well, why did it find it zero times? I'm sure it's in there a bunch of times. Well, perhaps you know the reason. The reason is because I did not change this. This is of course, just getting one letter at a time. X to X plus two gets one letter at a time. So for example, if X is five, X plus one is six, I'm getting the letter starting at five up to, but not including six. Hey, that's one letter. How do you think I get two letters? Yeah, just like that, that'll get two letters. Now really, JavaScript will let you run it just like this without any problems, but really you should make another change. And I hope this makes sense to you. You really should do this, even though JavaScript will let you get away without doing it. Since I'm looking for two letters at a time, I really do not want X to go all the way up to the last letter, right? So if like the exclamation point is my last letter, character, whatever, if I'm looking for two letters at a time, well, I'd be, I'd be looking at the exclamation point and then something after it. Well, there's nothing after it. So I really want my X to go to the second to last position. Yeah, give that some thought. This is an important one. So I'm not going to the last letter in my sentence. I'm going one less than that because I'm looking for two letters at a time. And if I run this, there you go. 
letters am found six times. All right, we're gonna do one more example, so hang in there. All right, I'm just gonna change one thing in this last example. So now I'm going to look for a bunch of letters. I'm going to look for T-H-A-T, -A -A, also known as that. So of course I should find that. One, two, I should find that. <laughs> I should find that, let's see, two times, I think. Now if I run this, of course, well, yes, it's found that zero times. That's because I did not change how many letters I was looking at at the time. I wanna look at four letters. That's x to x plus four. So now I have to go to length minus three. Yeah, let's see if that works, all right? Hmm, that works. But let's say I didn't know how long a word I was looking for. Could I just use a variable for that? Well, certainly I could. I could make a variable called len, and I could set that equal to letters dot length. And then uh, instead of going from x to x plus four, if I was looking for a word of some length, I could say plus len. And this of course would be, this is, <laughs> this is tricky, it's not minus len, well, it's minus len plus one. Give that some thought, yeah. All right, so now if I run it, found that three times, but now I could just type in anything. I could type in am. I don't even have to change anything else. Found am six times. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure, or I could just do a. Found a nine times. Yeah, so take a look at this. I, I hope you can see what's going on here. I just made a variable to remember the, to, to define the length of the string that I'm looking for in the sentence. And then I just used that variable. So I could have even asked the user for input, really. You know, what word are you looking for? And told them how many times that word was in the sentence. Hmm. All right, hope that makes sense to you. Thanks so much for watching.